Monday morning, this is a little job I've dropped on while my scaffold goes up at that old uh, cottage conversion I'm doing. So as here Friday, the lads I normally work with uh, at Bradley Construction, they were here Thursday, Friday as well. So today I'm going to be focusing on getting all these pillars up to 1800, so just a lot of level work. So let's crack on with it. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Why aren't you building it six courses and then checking it for level? So we have just taken this up to full height, which is 1800. Um, I would say it took me uh, not long at all, but yeah, it took a while like this. Uh, normally I would throw four profiles on a pillar like this, but I think they're just gonna be in my way. And uh, when you have profiles, you're more prone to having a brick tilt a bit like that, which will really show up in uh, this sort of pier. So I'm just gonna keep on leveling and uh, yeah, crack on with that one now. Right, let's get to it. Morning, you alright? Yeah, not bad at all. So there's always a couple of things I like to do when building these uh, these pillars. First thing is uh, I tend to film a joint after the perp joint, just because if you put a perp on, you can often push over your other brick. So I tend to fill it after. I find uh, the bricks are able to not get pushed about so much, which is always a good thing. And then what I also tend to do, obviously every bricklayer wants their work to be plump. <laughs> um, but it's really obvious on these two brick pillars, if you work out of plumb, very noticeable because either your perps most of the time your perps get bigger and bigger and bigger as they go up um, and especially because this is on the front of an ass it's an advertisement for the company I do a lot of work for and myself so it's very important to keep things nice so again to do that I don't film with perps too often and if it is going to lean I try and lean it in because then I've always got room to come back out Perps getting tight isn't as noticeable as massive whammy slammers. Okay. And then something else I also do, I like to build little racks all in the same spot. So I don't have to move around so much. So I just build 
three corner, like three high uh, corners, and then just chase it round like that, rather than building one course all the way round. Find it much quicker doing it this way. Just throwing on another couple of mixers, and then I'm just going to throw this on time lapse. I've got a new camera, so I'm just going to have a little mess around with it. See if we can blast this out and get some music going as well. So, let's get on with it. There we go, so that is two pillars done. Now we are going to move on to this one. <laughs> we've still got another one, two, three, and then we've got another pillar over there. But just looking at this, I'll probably only get another two done today. Um, very time consuming, very time consuming. As soon as you start rushing, everything just starts messing up. So it's not one of them where you can just um, really blast you're just going to kind of take your time which is cool it's all right like i said you're going to make sure they're right so i'll transfer everything down to here and get on what another 60 70 bricks here lovely jubbly so i've got a new phone for all my recordings making videos the only problem with it, <laughs> the videos are in like 4K, which is good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm brave enough to have my, uh, my brickwork in, in 4K HD. <laughs> mm. I can do my brickwork being uh, filmed with a bloody old Nokia. <laughs> Right, so there we go. We have just got our third pillar up. So time consuming, um, but it's going really well. It looks pretty tidy, I'm quite happy with it. What I've noticed is this road is really busy with pedestrians. So pretty much all day, people have been uh, either asking for my number or who I work for. So it goes back to that thing, no need to rush because I think we've got four jobs from this one job alone so far. So if you make a nice job of anything, word of mouth, best business, isn't it? Anyway, last pillar I reckon for the day, or we'll just use up this compo. God, I've got a full mix. Almost three o'clock. Ooh. Anyway, we're gonna get on with it. Might do another time lapse. There's not really much to show or talk about. It's just a lot of level work. Sad.
there we go we have just wrapped up for the day two more courses to go over on that last pillar but overall not a bad day a lot of level work if i had my profiles with me it might have been quicker but i reckon they probably would have been more hassle than uh, they were worth but just a little tot up 288 so that pretty much covers my day work just about depends what the price of the bricks are <laughs> anyway that's where i'm leaving it for today we are going to be coming back to this job when the copings are here to finish the copings uh, two pillars over there and one over there so yeah sand on to the next job <laughs>